All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. Uh, for our next deck on our 12-hour stream today, which is going to be Sultai Sanity. So the point of our, our deck here is to try to cast turn 2 Thief of Sanity sometimes. Um, and But just basically just to have as many Thief of Sanities as possible, have it at early and often, and try to um, steal a bunch of sweet cards. Um, so... You know, we have it in the Sultai shell where, you know, we know how good Sultai is. Uh, and so we basically have it kind of pre-boarded for control with having Thief of Sanities here in the main deck to go along with our Explore package, our Hostage Taker, uh, Find, and Hydroid Crisis endgame as well. So that's what we got. Sultai Sanity. Let's see how it works out. Sultai Sanity. Fight, you're predicting a 5 win. I'll be a little surprised if we don't 5 win. Um, you know, we're just playing Sultai here. Even, even though it's a little, you know, like, this isn't, like, uh, what I think, like, the best Sultai list would be. Like, I, I wouldn't actually play Thief in Sultai in general, but, um, the one thing with playing Thief, and also for, and for how I have my sideboard here, we don't... We don't have a, a ton against aggro. We're going to be a little weaker against aggro. So that could that could be a place that we struggle against. Maybe just have too much against control cuz a lot of my sideboard is like our is going to be for control also. Uh yes. T money. Yeah, I haven't gone through with, with like the. I'll just keep Jade Light. I haven't gone through and like done the announcement for me undies and stuff yet, but I got the I got it all set up. I'm just kind of spacing out the sponsorship announcements. That'll be the next one. I have zero cries or soots in the sideboard. Skip to the good part. All right. Hopefully, our opponent does not have negate for this Vivian. Enough. Though I didn't live through hell to lose to you. All right. Keep up the pace. Thoughts on Mausoleum Secrets? There are times, you know, like that you do have like the no creatures knows the wilds like in I your do. graveyard and everything, and it can, you know, it can do some pretty nice stuff. But I think just overall, I really should have seen that coming. It doesn't have the really high ceiling, or sorry, that's not the the right term. Ceiling's not the right term. It doesn't have the the really high consistency that. Um, Sultai decks usually have. So I don't need to play a third creature into a Wrath. We got two four threes. Four threes hit pretty hard. Come to me. Hmm. But I want to hold my breath. All 
Yeah, right now we have we have tons of creatures in the graveyard. So Mausoleum Secrets could could do something for sure. I mean, against like, you know, removal heavy control. It'll be a little better there. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff here. So we got duresses in the gates for old mystics. Um, so that's gives us to 69. We can cut these cast downs. Uh Golgari Queen. Um Wow Growth. So that's 63. One hostage taker. Maybe another hostage taker. Um, Golgari Queen is good at killing as Kanta. Besides that, we don't usually want to sacrifice our permanents too much. I'm going to take out one find. Find's not a card you want to have early at all. I may take out another find, honestly. I think it's either... I think our other card to take out is another find, a taker, or a Vraska. Find is like a really good card to draw, like in the super late game, but it's not a card that you like. I, like I said, many times, it's not a card you want early that just kind of sits in your hand and not able to do anything. Hey, what's up, Journeys guy? Sub number three on the day. Always a great stream, super informative, enjoyable, and helpful. Solid community to be a part of too. Ready for the Hunter Burden Memorial this weekend in Dallas. Well, best of luck there. Hope you're caught up on your modern. I'll take out a taker. They're likely going to be bringing in their own hostage takers. But that's okay. Oh, it's standard too? I thought I thought it was modern. I thought the Hunter Burton was modern this weekend. I'd rather have hostage taker than find finality here in this hand. This breeding pool noise effect is just unnecessary. Hmm. Probably have a little protection with Diva Sanity. That's a good Jade Light, I suppose. We have to discard a card, though. Discard 6th land. I guess we'll discard 6th land. Oh, it's two days. First day is modern, second day is standard. Gotcha. Okay. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Go ahead. So what can I say? Death is Look to see me no more. Uh, hear some War of the Spark thoughts. I don't know if I have any particular War of the Spark thoughts. I, I'm excited to see like all the, the planeswalkers and everything. I think that that's pretty interesting. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. I'm just gonna sack this land war elf. Draw a card. Um I'm excited to see how that works out. I'm, gonna, I'm excited to see like how, how they are and everything. I you know, I could see like, I don't think that they're going to be, like, just all overpowered Planeswalkers with, like, three abilities and stuff. I could see a lot of Planeswalkers with, like, one ability. Like, maybe it just has, like, just, like, a minus ability. So you can only use it a, a couple of times, and then it goes away. Um, or, um, okay, they're not quite going to get this Ascanta yet. Or maybe... Alright, so I, I put the Jade Light in the graveyard even though I wanted it because we have Find here to get it back. Alright, well that's slightly annoying. So that's five. They still can't flip Ascanta yet. But if they can tempt my Vraska... I'm just trading. I'm going to make that disappear. Um... 
I don't I don't know if there are creatures that flip into planeswalkers. I haven't seen that. They did have the contempt. What do you think of a Merciless Eviction reprint? I don't remember exactly what Merciless Eviction does, to be completely honest. I mean, I know there are there are creatures that flip into Planeswalkers and Magic Origins. I don't know if there will be in the new set. That's what I'm saying. Okay, six mana sorcery. Four white black. I remembered the mana cost, but I, I didn't remember exactly what it did. But So that's what it does. Exile all artifacts. You could get to choose one. You can either exile all artifacts or creatures or enchantments or planeswalkers. We have an absorb available. But I think I'm still just fine... Throwing that, that out there, we get to draw three. I could certainly see um, something like something along the lines of like our devastation that we just saw from the set, our devastation. Where it you know dealt five damage to all the creatures and all the planeswalkers. I bet there'll be cards like that. Yeah, we have like Gates of Blaze as a good red sweeper right now, but that one. You know, requires um, certain some certain deck building. That's an annoying draw step. That's a great draw step. <laughs> That's annoying. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. So we're looking at uh, a Hydro Crisis for 10 we can cast next turn. We can draw 5. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Yeah, they just cannot keep up with all these cards. We didn't get to take anything cool with Thief of Sandys, but our Thief of Sandys did just kind of eat removal spells and help our other cards. Took like t they quickly took that Krasis. But don't have a removal spell for this one. Man, Sultai is good. Especially our version does not have bad cards against control. Yeah, that's what Thief does sometimes, just protect the other creatures. 
Yeah, Gideon dying in War of the Spark seems to be the most popular rumor out there, like the most popular Planeswalker to have die in the set. Breaking Scape Shift? I don't know about that. Mike, I do want to, I want to play, a, I thought about, you know, I was thinking about like decks to play like in the shower and stuff today. I was thinking that we need to bring back Is It Ponza. Maybe make it Grixis Ponza. So we can have Ritual of Soot to go along with. We can have Ritual of Soot um, to go along with uh, Curious Obsession Healers, Hawk. Yeah, Hawk, I don't know what's going on either. Grixis, we could have like Unmored Ego against like whatever spell deck that we don't want. You're scared of Mortify? Hmm. Nah. There's only like one deck that plays Mortify these days. Let's feel the wrath of Scala. Just as for control. We can have something else against it. But oh, the other reason for Grixis, that's 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 what I was thinking. Uh, we could have Bedak Bedevil. The wilds are my shield. Uh, you know, so like, you know, it could be like a removal, like our two mana removal spell for Bedak, uh, and then Bedazzle, um, six mana instant speed, destroy a land. <laughs> Poor opponent. They're trying to do like this cool little Azorius Most Flyers thing, and I'm sitting over here with these Vivians. I've seen things that would break someone like you. I think cost four. Four is a lot. Surprised we haven't seen a single Explore creature yet. Yeah, Hawkeye, you're in the way. I have to look over here. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? No one knows the wilds like I do. All right, we are a thief deck. Should we take the thief? Or we can take like the Jade Light and like kill him with that. Krasis kills him. Thief is the worst card out of Jade Light or Krasis. I'll take the Krasis. Krasis should be able to find Thief. Three, six. I've seen worse. Yeah, it's un it's unfortunate that Thief was our worst card there. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. Harpooners, canopies kill creatures with flying. Hmm. I don't really need those, those are overkill. Um. I don't know, all of our cards are good. Usually I think I'd maybe board out Thief here, but I'm not taking out Thief, so... Yeah, it's... Looks like we're just playing against a, a new player.
I don't know why people want to spend a thousand gold to enter an event like this and play a deck like that, but... Right, drawing a crisis with a crisis is does feel really unfair. Bird tribal? Bleh. Alright, we need to find a or we need to make a we need to make a thumbnail. For Abzan Legends. Whoa. Ain't supposed to die on a Saturday night. I mean I guess we could have maybe lost that if we couldn't deal with Curious Obsession. Absan. Sky Tether. Is it birds? It is birds, bird tribal. Bird tribal. I know you want to eat up those birds, Hawkeye. Hawkeye loves looking at the birds that, like, outside, you know, like, whenever there's birds out the window that are, like, chirping and all that kind of stuff. Hawkeye gets all excited and jumps over the window and he'll meow at them and stuff. Oh yeah, Dovin makes thopters, not birds. I hope you don't mind if I enjoy this. Results are an anomaly not to be repeated. It's a cool card. I mean, playing Viv Vivian's our best card to play here. I want to try to take some birds. There you go. Get to scry one. Yeah, those are some birdies. Okay. Every fight makes me str Sometimes restoration means retribution. All right, where's our birdie? Hit this bird. All right, two and oh. Birds did not did not get there against like the best deck in the format. It's an unfortunate pairing. All 
All right, even though we're going to be a, a tad bit slow here, we'll be able to, to catch up in the, the later game and stuff. That was a really good draw. Mono red. Don't chain whirler away my land whirls. Ah, not mono red. Alright, so it's we just not played. Dead yet. Abzan Legends. All right, one second. Let me finish this up. All right, nice. Done. Uh, what do we got? Got one of these. One of those. All right, save. Upload. Balance comes. I think we're. I think we may play Hydroid Crisis this game. That could be a card that we play. We'll have to see. Uh, I've seen scars are lessons written in skin. <laughs> yeah. We were thinking we could be a tad slow, and then suddenly it's turn three, Vivian. You can't stop nature. All right, I guess if they if they do kill my Krasis here, then I may want to trump the Daredevil with Branchwalker, maybe. All right, kitties. I'll see you later. I'm going to be here for a while. Phoenix is certainly good. That's a, that's a real good card. Is this pirates? Ah, Phoenix. Right, because they need the red mana. Um. So I can minus the and kill the Phoenix, and then Finality put the counters on the Krasis, and base so I could basically trade my Finality Branchwalker and double Landwar Elves for th for their battlefield, get my Vivian back. Um, I guess that's the best thing for me to do. And they have this Theater Four over here that's kind of being annoying. Draw and fire. Because then they have like the daredevil under here. They could like daredevil find.
but they need a lot of mana. They have to deal damage to me, of course, to turn on the theater. So, like, if they spend four on the theater to, to turn it on, they don't have the mana to do that and Daredevil and find back their stuff. So they'd have to have, like, a, a shock or, like, a car carnival or something like that, and then plus Daredevil. I always survive. You'll see. Yeah, like, that's obviously... Okay with me, having another Vivian. Don't mind them using their turn for that. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Um. I think I could just submit. Yeah, I'll just hit the submit button. Yeah, so we're gonna destroy theater. Yep. Yeah, last turn we only dealt two damage with Krasis because the Krasis was shrunk by finality. It did get minus four, minus four, uh, but then it turned back into a six six there after that. Oh yeah, Hawkeye's gone. I can put this back up. Yep, that's why theater isn't too good, unfortunately. They spent three mana, and it didn't really do very much on it. I guess they spent another four mana to deal one damage. It's Thief. We keep. Or a Sultai Sanity deck. And I I would not be surprised at all if we lose this game with having on the draw turn three thief and then like hostage taker Vivian like would not be surprised at all our opponent has like some better interaction for us and you know a better hand and that kind of stuff well theater is not a card I'm scared about scared of We'll have Vivian take care of that one. No land drop, unfortunately. Born. That was a good card for their theater to hit if they, you know, drew a land instead, kind of thing. Like they want to hit their land drops that get rid of that Eldest Reborn. All right, so they strike me, so they get to shock. It's basically like shocking the. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. I kind of want to just tick up, actually. Meet my newest friend. Because, it's, you know, it's possible, you know, if, if I tick down, then, like, another shock just kills my Vivian. And I don't really want them just to be able to shoot Vivian like that. I definitely overrated Theater of Horrors uh, in the, you know, when I did the set preview. I thought it was going to be pretty good, but uh, just the combination of Mortify and Vivian is really holding it back, especially Mortify. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and kill the Theater now. <laughs> Get that out of here. And my opponent has 
has to choose whether, like if they have a lightning strike, they have to choose whether they want to lightning strike my hostage taker or if they want to lightning strike the Vivian. <laughs> Theater's a much worse Bomac career. <laughs> it's true. Bomac career is real good. Surprise that card was in standard. Wow. Coiling Wow Growth Walker. Okay. So, I kind of figured they would coil the. Coil the, the Hostage Taker and Bedevil the Vivian. But come to me. Um, hmm. I kind of like just hitting land drops. I'm doing this so they don't know that we have another hostage taker in hand. So next turn, if we find another land between our draw step or Vivian tick up, even if they kill this hostage taker, we can then hostage take plus cast Phoenix next turn. No one knows the wilds like I do. Sorry, Krasis. Of course, if they, had, if they had instant speed removal there, that would have been a little bad for us. It would have been like that bad, but it would have been a little bad. Can't help you now. Soltai Sanity coming through. Uh, sure. All right, Thieva Sanity, it's your turn next turn. No, the opponent conceded. They opponent wanted to stay sane. They could not handle their sanity being stolen. All right, three wins. <laughs> well, okay. Come on. Just gonna sit there and meow. You can come on up here. Ah, boom. We're on the play. Never didn't have that second land. Never didn't have the third land here. Tilt. Ugh.
Okay, we didn't have the third land. Oh. Teamer Reclamation. No, Hawkeye, no. It's a bad deck. I mean, it's really good, but... It's bad for us to see. Where are these lands at? That's one land. I went ahead and, and just graveyard the Jade Light, because next turn I don't actually really want to play a Jade Light. I'd rather be able to play the Vivian next turn. Because, you know, presumably our opponent's going to have to have, like, some fogs and stuff. Um, or whatever. Hey, that's awesome, King Toll. Glad to have you here. How this thing goes is Here, up to you, pen. pal. No one said restoration was painless. I need another Vivian. Come to me. No, Hawkeye was named after the uh, university, um, like the Iowa Hawkeyes. That's where, that's where he got his name. As he's from Iowa, he's a stray cat there on my grandmother's farm in Iowa. Really want to have this Vivian kill that reclamation. Another turn. No Nexus, no Nexus. Ooh. Wait, no, they you, never mind, they still have enough mana for Nexus. They got plenty of mana. Scribe bottom. Looks like they're looking at Insight. That's not going to be a Nexus. Seedborn Muse equals fun. Wilderness Reclamation equals Skull Clamp. Yeah, basically. Alright, we have... This is what my sideboard's for. Bringing in 12, cutting those, cutting these, um, cutting these, uh, and these. All right. This looks better now. Actually, Krasis is, like, just pretty slow in this matchup. Should I have Wabroth Walker instead of Krasis? I know I could have, like, Hostage Shaker for their Krasis. 
But I still have Vivian, Vraska, and Canopy that kill a Krasis. Like, that's a lot of things that kill a Krasis. Um... Ooh, here we go. Turn two thief. Turn two thief. I'm not sure if it's right to ever take out Krasis, but if it is, this would be this would be like the matchup. Um to take it out. Attack. Fortunately, I only get like one duress here. Our opponent could just uh, counter. We'll see if they counter the Jade Light. All right, good. Because I want it, I want the duress to take wilderness reclamation. I don't want duress to take sinister sabotage. I want it to take reclamation. I forgot to switch out duresses. We're using the wrong duress art. Boom. Nailed it. Yeah, I could see Krasis having a, a place in modern. You need a lot of mana. Like maybe like a like mono blue splash green. Or sorry, mono green splash blue. Ramp. I kinda need to need to take the chemistry's insight. Because otherwise they get chemistry's insight, and I don't want them to have chemistry's insight. Um, all right, let's go Branch Walker. Yeah, I'll take that one. All right, duress away this. Sabotage. Draw that thing. I don't think this is the right. Um, I don't think that one is the right duress art. I think I'm I'm wrong. So I, I would not be surprised at all to see them root snare here. Not be surprised at all. Yeah, just prevent that. Unfortunately, our last two turns, we've hit a couple of duds with these. All right, I'm, I'm sorry, Thief. I'm, we're going to have to go Graveyard. We just need lands or counter, counter spells or something. Sorry, other Thief. We already got two out there. Attack. We've cleared out lots of lands for them. They're oh, they cannot nexus. 
was gonna say they were gonna nexus at our end step, but they just played a, a tap land in. Makes me balance hey, comes. Julius with a donation. We have a new donation deck here. All right, let's check out what we got. All right, so Julius, hey, hey Todd, here's a donation for a new brew. If you can play it today, great. If not, no problem. Have a good stream. Ooh, Teamer Ramp. All right, they're certainly looking for a Wilderness Reclamation or more Root Snares. Root Snares. They've gone through two Root Snares so far, including this one, right? I think that was the second one. All right, did not find it. GG. That's going to be a tough matchup for our opponent with all this stuff we have after sideboarding. This this deck slash sideboard that I have here is built to beat Wilderness Reclamation. <laughs> Especially, you know, with we brought in 12 cards in our sideboard and we already had main deck thieves. All right, so I, all right, so Julius, I'm not sure if I can fit that fit that in today. The Slesnia Angels is the deck that I don't really care to play today. Let me get okay. There's the Team of Ram deck. Here's here's the Team of Ram deck. If anybody wants to see it in chat here. Oh, this is final boss. Pardon me. I gotta get in the zone. Alright, we're gonna have Thief on three. We're gonna slow them down by getting rid of that land war elf. The problem is land drops for us here. We want to be drawing lands because Thief will help us draw the spells from our opponent. Oh, they don't have lands. gonna try to hit a land drop here not a land drop you gonna keep that cast down there for me to take I wish I had the mana to go Thief plus cast down. I certainly see my opponent having find and wanting to get some of these things back with find. We're gonna let them get Jade Light back? They're, they already have a Jade Light over there.
Contempt. All right, well, that's one less contempt for Vivian. I've lost so much. You can't stop nature. Using my second cast down when I did 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 make a hostage taker a lot worse play for us. Like if our opponent had hostage taker, that would have been bad for us. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Tyrant, Asaurus Rex. We'll see if they have an answer to their own Carnage Tyrant. Not necessarily likely. Meet my newest friend. All right, so we'll hostage taker the crisis. So that's out of here. Also play a thief. The good part about hostage taker and crisis is we don't care if hostage taker dies or not. The crisis is gone. Yeah, do they have contempt for this Vivian that's at eight? Is they kind of have, to have like contempt for the Vivian plus like something for Thief. But now they're just really dead. Nature brings your reckoning. All right, Thief of Sanity took that one home for us. I don't know if I really have a sideboard for the mirror. Um, I think I just keep this the same. Unless, like, Thief isn't always that good in the mirror. And especially especially after playing at game one, I think our opponent's going to, like, bring in a bunch of stuff to, like, kill Thieves. Uh, Wild Growth Walker is okay. It's not necessarily the best. Mystic is is Mystic can be quite good. I'm actually kind of thinking about taking out thieves. Um, well, Growth Walker is not good against Hostage Taker, but it's like I do like that it's something early that the pressures the opponent, and you know it makes your like Wild Growth Walker makes your late game cards better. It's not a good card you want to draw late, but it does fit a really nice spot on the curve. All right, Zerf says. Thief can come on out. Maybe we keep in two Thief, or I could just play a couple of these. Um, yeah, we'll play two Thief. We'll play two Thief, two Mystic. No, Harpooner's not, not a card you want here. I don't think I don't think Mystic will be too slow even though we're on the draw. Cause it's it's the kind of thing that you just don't like the games go pretty long. Um and it's a, it's a really good card in the very, very late game. You know, you just want to get to the very, very late game. And that's why keeping in Wild Growth Walker is good, because we're gonna have a better very, very late game. Supposedly, with having Thrilled Mystic. Um, but we need to get there. I think I think the games we lose are games like where our opponent ramps out uh, into like early Carnage Tyrant um, kind of thing. I think those are going to be the games that we lose. Drawing two Hydroid Crisis is not good. You know, those are late game cards. We already had a couple late game cards. And the opponent did not find a land though good for us. I'm 
I'm probably going to just throw down a Krasis on two next turn. They're going to find back this thing. <laughs> I thought they'd have that card since we had a thief. I could find back my Jade Light and Lanwar Alf and just play the Lanwar Alf, but I would rather be able to find back a Krasis. So let's just cycle this. Cycle that, have it trade with the Harpooner, let it die, and then get it back with find. Or just play another Krasis and get back two Krasises and then Krasis again and then Krasis again and then Krasis again. Alright, Battlefield is clear for Vivian. Vivian this turn, finality next turn. Let's take the wilds are my shield. I'm gonna want a hostage taker this land war elf. Man, they are not finding lands. They are not doing a good job of drawing lands. Now we're getting started. No one knows the wilds like I do. Give me that. Yeah, this game's over. Opponent just, you know, missed all those land drops. It's too bad for them. Yeah, they can't they can't possibly win anymore. So it's gonna be a 5-0 for Sultai Sanity. This is a good victory song for our 5-0. The Rocky theme. Come to me. Probably don't need to play that. Yeah, they're gonna have cast down. But that's okay. We're gonna be getting it back with find. Oh, I have cemetery. I didn't need to shock. No, Matthew, you didn't predict a 5-0. You didn't predict any 5-0s. I think you did 5-1. You predicted out all the leagues, but you didn't have any 5-0s. Ooh. Rares across the board. Um, one Ravnica Allegiance, one Ixalan, one Guilds of Ravnica. Or maybe the other way. This is Guilds of Ravnica. That's Ravnica Allegiance. All right, so Sultai Sanity quite good against mid range and control decks. Like like I said, especially like with this with this sideboard, uh, you know, with the, all the crushing canopies, um, and everything, and the thieves. Like we're gonna be pretty good in the mirror. I, I think like all the hostage shakers. I think we're. I think this is a good mirror deck, and I also think it's awesome against the reclamation decks. That's why I kind of had it, had it built uh, for like Esper Control Wilderness Reclamation. I think this is a good Sultai version for those kind of matchups. I think this is going to be weaker against like mono red, mono white. Uh, maybe those can go under you, but you also just have like sometimes, you know, you just wild growth walker, jade light them um, and everything. So, you know, so that's kind of uh, 
what you got here. But if you if you play a lot of Sultai and if you're losing to the Wilderness Reclamation decks, maybe you want to try this out. This could be an option for you. You can sideboard like we did earlier on. Um, all right, so that's Sultai Sanity. So if you're watching this one later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that sub button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.